Hey, what's up, guys? I want to do a quick video here, just a discussion. I saw someone earlier today put up an article, someone I follow on social media somewhere along the way, put up an article about uh, why Guillermo del Toro bombs at the box office and why his films don't resonate with mainstream audiences, etc. And uh, the person who posted this, I, I forget whatever website that the article came from, but the person who posted this uh, said that he should take some lessons from uh, Hitchcock, who is apparently one of Del Toro's uh, you know mentors, one of the people he looks up to quite a bit, whatever, you know, one of his big uh, big influences. Uh, you know, should take some lessons from Hitchcock in the way that he approaches film, the way that he markets films, etc., and mentioned that this film should be rated uh, Crimson Peaks, what I'm talking about, should be rated uh, PG-13 instead of R. And uh, I, I really found that as, as bizarre, uh, that, that comment in particular, because, you know, isn't that what horror fans have been screaming for years now, that they're tired of PG-13 horror, they're ready for R-rated horror films again? And I think now Del Toro has actually reached a point in his career where he's got enough clout where he can make films the way he wants to make them and you know he wants to give it an R rated an R rating he does that and I respect the hell out of that um, the guy's making art for art's sake and not just to make money I mean I understand this is a business but he's not willing to uh, sacrifice his art you know what he wants to put on the screen for a you know, specific rating and you know the film um I don't think it did that great over the weekend. I, I just watched it uh, last night, Tuesday night. And there wasn't many people in there, but this was like a Tuesday night, like late at night. And uh, I'm a big fan of his already. But, uh, you know, so that's the, the primary reason I went and saw this in the theater. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to say it was the best film I've ever seen, but I really enjoyed it. I'd say you guys go check it out for, you know, the the set pieces, costume design, you know, all that stuff was just on point. Check it out um, for that alone. I'm going to do a review up on the House of Horror at some point in the near future. I'm just uh, still trying to think about this film, trying to trying to marinate on it for a bit before I put a proper review up. But, but I'd recommend going to see the film, you know, at least to support theatrical horror and uh you know r-rated horror which i don't know man people are so fucking fickle these days like they don't know what they want but this the the, the film is a period piece and uh that was one of the things that was kind of holding me back a little bit from going to see it but like i said i wanted to support del toro because i'm a big fan of his and uh you know um uh, r-rated horror is where it's at man like i mean i, I just don't get it but people comparing him to Hitchcock and he should take some lessons from Hitchcock, like totally different. I mean, it's apples and oranges. The, the way the audience is, the way the, the, uh, the industry is now from back when Hitchcock was doing it. Now, you know, movies are out on DVD in three months, you know, and they've been torrented to shit, you know, well before that. So the day this fucker's released or even before that, there it's out on some sort of, uh, you know, website to download or to watch you know streaming or whatever um and that just wasn't the case you know even 10 years ago you know so it, a totally different you know you you can't even compare the industry for how it was then to how it is now uh he um people you know i don't want to go off on a tangent about downloading movies but you know if you download movies illegally, if you watch movies illegally, you have no right to complain about the state of the industry or, you know, you don't like, you know, all the movies are shitty these days, whatever. You're part of the problem. Like, it is a business, and if they're not making money, movies aren't going to get made. So that's why you see a lot of stuff going into, uh, you know, Netflix and, you know, smaller smaller distribution, you know, small the small screen versus you know theatrical movies and theaters may not be around a whole lot longer you know if they're not making money people aren't going to see it they're just downloading it at their house and uh got into an argument the other day with someone saying that oh well i, I you know i stream the movies so that's not illegal no that's illegal you're watching the movie uh that is uh you know not supposed to be seen that way you know that's illegal uh, i hate to hate to burst your bubble there but you are breaking the law and uh you know i don't if you do that that's fine uh you know it, it doesn't matter to me other than the fact that 
you see a lot of the same people that complain about that, that complain about the state of movies today. Oh, this sucks, that sucks, whatever. But um, anyway, uh, totally different than back when Hitchcock was around. You know, movies would stay in the theater for months, even years. They get re-released years later, run for years and years. And that's how movies made so much money back then, even with the you know comparative, uh, you know ticket prices being much lower. Um, the people would go and see these things multiple times, and uh, it's just not you know what what you have now. Plus, you have the internet with the uh, uh, the you know Rotten Tomatoes, you know reviews out on the internet, people talking shit about movies. You know it it it, it really hurts versus versus you know back in the day when you didn't have that so you had maybe an article in the paper you know a couple of weeks later or whatever but um i don't know you you just can't really compare things i just really respect del toro for doing what he did and for putting the movie out in r-rated versus probably what a million people's people at the studio told him to do was bump it down to pg-13 and who even really cares what a movie does domestically anymore i mean look at Terminator Genesis, it did very poorly here in the U.S., uh, the domestic box office, and it made its, you know, made uh, its budget and then some back over in uh, China, and, you know, look at, you know, the rest of Asia, I mean, you know, U.S. movies do really well over there, and, uh, you know, now if your movie doesn't do gangbusters on opening weekend, it's shit, which, I mean, that's, that's really unfortunate because you can't even factor in, like, word of mouth, um, I forget what it was. It was a movie that that was released recently that it it had a steady uh, box office for a few weeks. I forgot what it was, but it kind of reminded me of how things used to be, you know. I mean, now movies aren't in the theater for 2 weeks. Like I try to, you know, bust ass out there to see it b- before it's gone the next week. You know, if it doesn't just do do absolutely great, they take it off and put on some other crap in its place, but anyway, that's the way things are and uh I mean, you know, Del Toro's made a name for himself. He's going to do what he wants to do regardless. And, uh, you know, he's, he could do that. You know, he could put his name on stuff. He's talented as fuck. I don't know if you guys have seen The Strain. That's, that's another show that he's been attached to. Um, really enjoyed season two. I'm, uh, kind of hate the way they left it off with that cliffhanger. But, uh, yeah, looking forward to season three. That's a really good show. Probably one of my favorite shows on television right now. But, uh, that's just something else that came to mind that, that he's attached to i mean guys guys got tons of projects in the works you know he's not concerned with with uh you know what people think about him anymore so um i just think it's unfortunate i understand it's not gonna gonna resonate with the mainstream but um you know the guy's doing doing what he wants to do and i respect the hell out of that so anyway guys just my personal opinion feel free to uh, let me know what you think about it and uh, yeah thanks for watching